Hey YouTube, it's Jam. I am finally getting around to doing a favourites video. Um, I never get time to do these, but I'm going to try really hard to get this one up by the 5th of August, so give this video a thumbs up if, it, if it's up by the 5th. <sighs> yeah, um, so I'm just going to get into it. Um, I found it a wee bit hard to find favourites this month. I usually only do my favourite videos every couple of months because I don't fall in love with that many things in one month. Um, I'm going to start off with a couple of hair things because my hair has been improving a bit and I think it's due to a couple of different things. Um, so the first thing is this shampoo. This is the Sun Silk um, straight, straight Lock shampoo and I always buy these just because they're on sale. They're always so cheap. They're like three dollars and um, honestly most of the other ones don't really do anything amazing I've tried probably all of them um, and I never see that much change but this one actually does what it says it says that it's gonna make your hair stay straight as it dries after you wash it and it really does do that um, I usually wake up in the morning with an afro like just a bird's nest on my head and since I've been using this I wake up and my hair is straight like it's still kinky like like my hair hasn't been straightened and um yeah but it, it's still a bit kinky but it's so much better it's not frizzy it's not an afro it's manageable I don't have to straighten it if I don't want to and it keeps the volume in my hair as well it doesn't make it greasy and heavy or anything it's just straight soft voluminous and nice and hand motions um but yeah i really really am liking this and i will continue to buy it i think um i've only tried the shampoo i didn't buy the conditioner but i might get that um next time i'm at the supermarket um something else that i've been using on my hair that i got on my sample bar for july is this um, Angel Professional Hair Soft Soften Spray. Um, and the reason I like this is because it doesn't make my hair greasy. It's quite lightweight and um, it just softens, adds a bit of shine without weighing down my hair or making it feel yuck. So yeah, I really like that and I've used quite a bit of it. I've had it for a couple of weeks and yeah, I really like it. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. And the last thing that I think it maybe has been improving um, my hair is these Huffery's multivitamins that I've been taking. There's a hair in my mouth. Um, I was getting really sick, like just had the flu for like a month straight and um, I was just really knackered all the time. So I thought I'd pick up some more vitamins to help me get better and um, these ones say that they're going to give you energy and vitality so I picked them up I think they were like $12 for 30 tablets and you just take one a day so a month supply and yeah I think I've been really seeing an improvement um, it says on the back that it's going to help with your skin and hair as well and my hair has been growing a bit better lately um, I had it blonde to go purple about a year ago now and Ever since then, my hair has just been dead and not grown at all. And it's finally starting to grow a bit. It's probably grown a um, couple centimetres in the last couple months. And um, also, I've been noticing my skin is a lot more glowy. Um, I do have something else that I'm going to show you that has been helping with my skin as well. Because if you've been watching me for a while, you know I had horrible acne. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about that soon. But yeah, I think these have been really just helping all over giving me more energy I've been sleeping way better I've been actually falling asleep before midnight which is not like me at all I'm usually up to like two every night and then I'm just exhausted all day um, and my skin looks better my hair looks better and yeah go get you some yeah really been liking them really recommend them so for my skin and another thing that I got in my sample bar glam pack for the July, I think, did I get this July? Yeah, I think so. Um, is this skin food cleanser. Um, if you just want a straight up cleanser that's going to remove your makeup, not irritate your eyes, 
not um, do anything else but take off your makeup then this is for you um, you know it's safe and doesn't have anything bad in it it's got aloe manuka honey and yeah it just takes off the makeup it's awesome at getting off my eye makeup and doesn't irritate me doesn't sting my eyes or anything so yeah and this brand is also really affordable as well so if you want just a straight up cleanser I'd really recommend this okay so the skincare I was talking about um, I had horrible acne all over my face I still am getting a bit of acne but I had like cystic acne all around this area I was like too embarrassed to go outside um and what has been clearing it up is my proactive um I'm just gonna show you see I still have a bit of acne and I have scarring and I'm still getting spots but it, it has improved so much and that is thanks to proactive um I know there is a lot of hate out there on proactive and I don't love Proactive Eva. I feel like it's probably not the safest thing to be putting on my skin, but it's what helps it, what makes me get out of the house every day. So I'm going to continue using it until I find something better. Um, a lot of people say it is drying. If you've got any kind of dryness in your skin, then I wouldn't recommend using it at all because it is going to make your skin flaky if you've got any kind of dryness. Um, it did like, for the first couple of weeks I was using it, it would dry out the spots until it was all flaky and gross and yeah but I preferred that than the acne um but now I'm just using it um one probably once a day or so and <coughs> whoops um and I don't have any dryness now I just um I get the odd spot I don't my skin is incredibly greasy in my t-zone chin area and I need the drying um, so yeah the cleanser can be quite harsh so I would if you do have sensitive skin or it, you're finding it too drying then just cut down the amount of times that you're using it um, at first I wasn't seeing amazing results from proactive I was seeing okay results but it wasn't stopping me from getting a lot of spots and then I started using the clarifying night cream along with it. I also have a mask as well, which I forgot to bring out, but um, that's really good as well. But once I started using this, I found my skin clearing up like 50% more. Um, it says that it's non-condogenic. -com I don't know what that means. And it helps to clear pores. Um, so after I do the three-step system, the cleanser, the toner, and the repair moisturizer I put this on and it says that it's a night cream but it also says on the back that you can put it on whenever you want so I put this on at night and in the morning and my skin has been clearing up a lot more and then I also have just a little green tea moisturizer green tea is really good for acne as well and this is a moisturizer that doesn't make you greasy so yeah proactive has been really working for me Okay, I only have two makeup things to show you guys this month. The first thing is this NYC New York Color Individual Eyes Custom Compact. And this is created for brown eyes. I have the one that's made for blue eyes, but I like... I think I like the colors in this one more because it's got a dark purple. And I love dark purple. The thing I love about this palette is that it comes with this um, primer base kind of thing. It's perfectly the color of my skin on my eyelids um and then it's exactly the same color as this eyeshadow that comes it's like a nice cream champagne color so perfect for when I just want to make my eyelids look presentable and you know get rid of um I've got quite a bit of veining and stuff on my eyelids so when I just want to cover that up and get out the door it's perfect then this color here is perfect for it in my crease it's just a really nice caramel brown colour, you can't really see. And then this brown colour is a bit more shimmery. I use that in the outer V sometimes. And then this purple colour is really lovely. It's like the perfect winter colour. 
and I've been using it quite a bit to line my eyes actually and then this is like a shimmery highlight it's a bit too shimmery for my liking but it is really nice in the corners of your eye and under the brow um so yeah I got this for like three dollars off snatch a deal ages ago and I gave it to my mum and then she wasn't using it so I stole it back off her and I love it each color um but yeah if you see these around definitely pick them up I really recommend them the primer is amazing it'll cover up everything the next makeup thing I want to talk about is my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is like a cult favourite on YouTube. I know you've probably heard everybody talk about it, but I had it and then I ran out and didn't buy another one for like two or three months or even longer maybe. And I forgot how much I loved it. Um, I was using the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder and it's good, but it's no Stay Matte. Um, the stuff's just amazing. I got it in transparent because I just wanted my face mattified I didn't want any more um, coverage so yeah I love this this was on sale on ASOS for like five dollars so keep an eye out on ASOS for this being on sale because this is at least twenty dollars in New Zealand stores I'd say um, and yeah it's just a really awesome powder uh, my favorite nail polish for this month is one I got in my MUA haul um, I'm wearing it on my whatever this finger's called do you just there we go it's just this really lovely mint aqua blue colour it's called pistachio ice cream and it's just so nice this is two coats and it's really thick, really opaque um, I could get away with doing one coat it's really nice and this was um, this is one pound I believe so it's about two dollars New Zealand really affordable it is like a mini kind of sized um, nail polish but really nice um, that's it for beauty ish kind of things um, my favorite fashion thing for July is something I actually got only about a week ago but I'm gonna include them because I love them they're my boots that I just hauled in a July haul video um, they are amazing. I love the gold heels. These were $15 at the warehouse. And then I got another pair of shoes free. They're comfortable. They are just so classy looking. And I love them. I'm wearing them today actually. Um, another clothing-ish item that I've been loving. I'll just stand up and show you. It's these tights that I'm wearing. Um, I hauled these ages ago I think in like a Christchurch haul. But... I got these at Cotton On, I think, or Glassons, I can't remember, um, but they're just tights and it makes it look like you're wearing like over the knee socks and then it's got these little dots here and it just looks so cute with circle skirts or um, high waisted shorts and I love them and I got them for like three dollars so yeah really cheap and really cute. My favourite movie for the month of July, hands down, is Despicable Me number two. I went to see that in the movies um, a couple of weeks ago, and I just I love animation and it's just so cute. The minions are adorable, and when they got turned into the purple mean minions, I was like, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is one of the toys from McDonald's, and he's meant to talk, but he's broken. But yeah, I love Despicable Me. Um, I love all cartoons. I also watched Paranorman this month and I quite liked that. Um, not really much of a kids movie, I thought. But yeah, really good. Um, what else? My favourite beverage, not just for July, but for my entire life, is Budget Vanilla Cola. I live off this. It is really bad for me and it stains my teeth and I'm addicted to it um yeah I always have to stop myself from buying it but it's just so cheap and so yum and I like this more than coca-cola um yeah I had to move because it was getting too bright but um that was my July favorites video hope you guys enjoyed and please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye